let the media know Laurel Street and Market Street. Normally, when we have an event, the inner part of the square is closed only, but with this, they had requested that we close Laurel Street and Market Street. And I think it's going to be like starting with Susan, 5 or 6 o'clock Friday evening until uh, approximately 10 or 11 o'clock Saturday night. That will allow for set up Friday evening and then during the day, all the events on Saturday, they'll have access and can utilize those two streets as well. So. Uh, Please take note, and I'm sure y'all have some more information in the paper coming up. So we've got that. Um, had a call from the state the other day, and I've got a call back. Of course, it was a holiday today for some, but uh, it's in regard to the Clemens Road uh, project letting. Uh, we've been saying that it should go out in November. There may be, uh, it may go back to December as far as project letting. I'll know more when I talk to them tomorrow, but it's still scheduled to be let for bid this calendar year, so that's that's a good thing. Um, on the downtown square, uh, just some updated numbers. As you know, the, the main part is completed by Lambert Construction. Uh, this project ended up coming in at one million four hundred twenty-seven thousand nine hundred thirty-nine dollars. That ended up being about eighty-one thousand six hundred sixty-nine dollars over. Um, Josh had done a great job of calculating out why we had an overage. A lot of that uh, was broken down to the way the project, when it was bid out, was calculated on cubic yards for concrete and asphalt and tonnage on fuel and that sort of thing. Uh, so there was a lot of miscalculations in that regard. Um, so it did come in 81,669 over uh, based on the work and the change orders and that sort of thing. I guess the good news though is that Ridgedale Road, when it was done earlier this year, came in under budget. Uh, it came in 113137 under budget, so we're still between the two projects, about 52000 to the good. But, so I just wanted to let the council know that. Uh, the landscaping uh, trees have been ordered. Uh, Lambert, no, excuse me, not Lambert, Largen and Clay Pot are going to be doing the tree planting and the large shrubs. Some of that will take place Friday. Uh, they will be doing no work Saturday and not Sunday. And then again next week they will work on Friday morning and then they will stop because of the homecoming parade, right Mark, and then again on Saturday. So that will be started at the end of this week, which is, is a good thing. Uh, so that's the update on those projects. Uh, Veterans Field is moving moving along about 95% complete. Uh, we should have a walkthrough later this week to just look over things and sort of go over a punch list. So that's where, where we are with those projects right now. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Ms. Butler? Just a reminder that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the Daily Sentinel, they're offering the pink, their pink news rack around town. All the proceeds are going to breast cancer patients with Beauty and the Beast of Jackson County. So if you'll look for it and support support that, please. It's at Pine Brothers right now and then next week it'll be around the Delegation and Variety Bake, bake Shop. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Mr. Stewart. Uh, just if you will, keep my family in your prayers. We go in tomorrow morning <coughs> for the birth of uh, Audrey Claire Stewart. So keep us in your thoughts and prayers, please. That number five, six, five. five. <laughs> He's working on a baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> you Mr. Smith, <laughs> I've got just a couple of things. Uh, uh, one, um, there's a group from Collins Middle School on a trip to Disney World uh, this week, so keep them in your prayers, uh, Mr. Stewart's son. One, one of those, he's with my wife. Uh, they tried to get me to go with them. I told Patrick that uh, their idea of vacation.
fish and mine are two different, <laughs> two different things. <clears throat> we will have a, uh, a budget hearing uh, to go over the final 10% approval uh, next Monday night immediately following uh, the council work session. And the only other thing is I look forward to the barbecue cook-off uh, this weekend. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a well-attended event. I look forward to the expansion that they're, uh, they're doing this year. Anything else to come before the council? I'll hear a motion to close or to adjourn. I make that motion. Mr. Patrick Stewart makes the motion. Is there a second? Second. Ms. Bowler seconds. Any discussion? All in favor in the case of I say aye. Aye. Rich Sanders.